after owning the Canon EOS R for a year, almost a full year, I chose it again. It's Wes, welcome to another video. Today, I'm sitting right where I was when I filmed my most popular video in 2018, <laughs> 2019, which was, should you buy the Canon 5D Mark IV or Canon EOS R? And I'm gonna share with you today why I bought another Canon EOS R and why that makes sense for me in 2020. For my second camera, which I'm investing in for 2020, I again went with the Canon EOS R. And there's a number of reasons why this makes sense. So stick around and hear those reasons. Uh, please subscribe to this video, give it a like, leave a comment, and let's go. All right, so here are the cons about the EOS R and the things that, you know, they didn't bother me after a year of owning one, but these were the negatives, the things I should have thought of as a deterrent. Crop in 4K, expensive lenses, no in-camera stabilization, only one card slot, no joystick. You can realistically shoot only like five images per second. But here's the reasons why I chose it after a year. And that's the weight. It feels light. Ergonomics, it feels great. The RF lenses are high quality. Eye autofocus, face tracking, C-Log comes with it, touch screen, the touch and drag focus point, the rotating live view screen, the customizability of the buttons, the focus guides, those manual focus guides that come from the Canon cinema cameras are amazing. The ability to use EF lenses with an adapter, the 10-bit footage, silent shutter option, high-speed continuous shooting with the silent shutter, the list goes on and on. It's an amazing camera, and that's why I chose it again in 2020. This camera is straight up amazing. So first of all, I'm a teacher. That's my background. I've spent my life in public education. I've worked in educational technology for years, and it's been an amazing journey. And it's no coincidence that my YouTube channel is an educational endeavor. I'm mainly trying to document what I'm learning for the purpose of sharing with others how to avoid mistakes I've made or how to you know, emulate workflow that I've come up with or techniques. It's been bothering me for a while that the very camera that I'm trying to demonstrate with is not in the frame of the videos I'm making because I'm filming with it. Um, so a second EOS R, one camera becomes the camera I film with and one becomes the camera I demonstrate with. That makes sense. That's one reason. Secondly, I've been wanting to document the work I do in photo shoots, but I haven't been able to accomplish that because I'm using my camera to do the photo shoot for the client. I do have GoPros and smartphones, and I've used those in the past, but this year I want to be able to produce higher quality content than what I've done. It's a matter of challenging myself and stretching past what I've been doing in the last year. The idea is this, that I would mic myself up and set up one Canon EOS R on a tripod with a wide angle lens and capture my narration and my approach to the work with clients. And with the other EOS R, I'm capturing the photos for the client. So in this way, I can document my work and share on YouTube. Another reason another camera made sense is for more complex or demanding gigs. I need to have one of two setups, two cameras with two different lenses, wide angle and a zoom, like for a wedding, or I need a camera set up for still photography and the other set up for videography. So having equal quality images and equal quality film footage to match in editing is absolutely key for the workflow. A new facet to my filmmaking and photography work is documenting how Team World Vision runners raise funds for clean water by running marathons. I'm going to team up with my wife. We've been running for this cause going on 10 years. And this year we're going to volunteer to document and tell the stories of others who are raising funds for clean water. And then we're going to give them the videos to help them in their fundraising efforts. And so I need a camera for myself and one for my wife. We need it's an equal venture. We need equal quality cameras so that we can do this work. And so that's a new part of my filmmaking and photography venture this year that I'm looking forward to. One way to think about it is I do work where I create multiple points of view. The teacher point of view, teaching on YouTube, and the artist point of view where I'm creating and telling stories with clients. And actually maybe there's three points of view, the teacher in me, the artist in me, and the craftsman in me. In some ways I'm telling the story of the art and the story behind the art while making the art. I don't know if that makes sense, but the Canon EOS R was right for me in 2020 as my second camera. 